I'm often asked if there's a rig that would suit every situation. Well, there isn't, to be fair. You know, different lake beds, different areas, different fishing situations. But if you were to choose one that would fit most of them, it's got to be the Ronnie. Real low line pop up. And I've, I've, I've been on this rig most of my, probably 80% of my fishing for the last year and had a phenomenal amount of big fish and small fish as it happens. But it's so consistent for me. We'll whiz through now. The components I use, I'm sure it's been done a hundred times, but this is what I use and this is how I finish up with the rig. Okay, so we start with the medium curve cart spirit size six barbed, which is my favorite hook for most of my fishing actually. They are needle sharp. So we've got that hook, okay? On that, we need a little bit of shrink tubing. Just push it up the shank there. Not too much of it. And I've opened up the little quick change swivel there but I've opened it up to fit through the eye of the hook and then I'll close it just fractionally again so we've got that there now the shrink tube drops down over the top of that and that's where we're at so far now comes the safety thing be careful with the lighter please these little turbo ones are absolutely fantastic they are brilliant the wind doesn't affect them so let that cool now and that's where we are so far. Nice and easy, no frills. Now on there, we've got a little ring swivel that goes then over the point of the hook. The freedom this allows the bait is incredible. And one of our small little bait beads, little ring stop, whatever you want to call them. Now bear in mind the bait's gonna sit on top of this hook so it's hiding all this mechanic anyway, all this metal work. Now the boom, I favor a fluoro one which in my world is the 23 pound Optimex. Disappears in the water, it's quite flexible and it is as tough as you're ever gonna want it to be. So we're gonna put him on there now. Now I whizz around four or five times. One, two, three, there we go, four. Back through, it's creating like a little figure of eight. Not pull him nice and slowly down to where the, the swivel is. Again, being very careful, you don't slip and get this hook in your, in your finger. That's not what it's meant to be, it's meant to be in a fish. Trim it off. So again, depending on the lake bed you're on, depending on how long this boom's going to be. Where we're fishing today, there's a lot of silkweed out in the main pond here. So I've made the booms on this rig where we are today about 9 or 10 inches long. But on hard gravel, I've fished it right down to about 3 inches, this little boom. And, uh, and it works. But again. You know, as I said at the start of this, not all swims are the same. Clearly not all lake beds are the same. So you have to chop and change and read the situation that suits you. So there we are with our boom, a nice fluoro boom. As I said earlier, it will disappear. It's not too stiff. It still throws the rig out, but if it lands over a tiny little bit of debris, it will also sink the rig down. It will bend, should we say, and um, allow the rig to sit. Now, the bait that I've used a lot this year the pink hit and runs from Dynamite, absolutely love them. The amount of fish I've had on them this year is phenomenal. A little bit of our um, bait floss again. People say about this, when you melt the top of this bait floss, are they worried about birds pulling it off? I've never had any of that. They pick it up and drop it. To me, that just shows the rig's clear. And it's not stuck in weed. So we pull that through there. Just sit it on the top part of the swivel. Trim that off quite close and again with safety in mind <laughs> wet finger and blob that down and that is where we end up with a lovely little balance Ronnie rig it's a very low down pop-up so you can fish it over any lake bed and for me it's been the most successful rig I've used in years and years and years and it will continue to be so so Ronnie made out of our stuff chuck it in the pond Get yourself a fish.